I'm getting nearer to where it crashed. If you can see on map, somewhere in those woods up there. Well, on Edge of Woods, hopefully, Longthorns Wood. It lost signal, wouldn't climb, wouldn't use the return to home feature, automatic failsafe, uh, so it must have crashed before uh, it lost signal. Incidentally, just across there, I don't know if you can see it, okay, one of the barrows in the Deverell complex. That down there is the Great Barrow where we were, surrounded by the wall. A few more barrows up here. Oh dear. Oh, I need another one there. I need another one. Obviously I spooked him. Looks like I've got to stride over an electric fence. Typical. Or is there a gate there? Could be a gate down there. How are we doing? Oh, I'm nearly there. Hello ladies. Come to see what I'm doing. I'm trying to find me drone. You didn't see it land anywhere, did you? Yeah, you didn't see a small buzzy thing. Crashing. No, I suppose not. You're beautiful, aren't you? Yes. You are pretty. I think I can get over without looking. Yeah. I'm not going to this, I'm right on top of it. Which one of you's got it? Who's hiding it? I know one of you is. Is that it there? Eh? Is that it in that field? It doesn't look like it, does it?
can you see it? Stuck in that tree. That's why it couldn't return to home. Hmm? Right, I've just got to get across this barbed wire fence. Oh, a tad more exercise than I expected today. Oh, I thought it'd have a leisurely fly with the drone, then go on for a coffee. At least the find my drone option works and then the flashing and bleeping when you get close because I don't think I'd have found it without where it is up in a tree How did you get up there? Seems to be undamaged. Yeah. A chip out of a uh, propeller blade, but that's about it. This is a ring and ditch barrow, or sort of bowl and ditch barrow, or wherever. Uh, it used to have a ditch. I think it's virtually disappeared now with ploughing. But uh, about 10 years ago, it had got quite a distinctive ditch. Uh, but it weren't fenced then. I think what's happened is it's ploughed a bit close to edge of the barrow. Uh, and filled the ditch in and uh, been told to fence it off to stop uh, doing any more damage. I could be wrong, he might have just done it uh, himself uh, to preserve local history but uh, the ditch has certainly disappeared, which is a shame. I think I've got some photographs of it though with the, the bank and ditch and uh, barrow that I took uh, a few years ago. Right, head back to the car and rescue poor Fluff. I couldn't bring her out because of the cattle. I didn't know about that electric fence separating them from us. I just saw them from the bottom of the field and thought, nah, she's better staying where she is. This road that we parked on, the A354, I think it is, is the uh, Trafalgar Way, as it's called, the route that uh, 
I can never remember his name. Lapidier or something, Lieutenant Lapidier. Um, brought the news back to London of Nelson's death at Trafalgar. He, uh, he were intercepted by a um, post captain in the channel who found out the news and decided he was going to be first to take it to London instead of a lowly lieutenant. Uh, so uh, Lapidier sailed to uh, Plymouth instead of going to London, beating his way up channel, and caught a mail coach. Took him four days to travel the, the turnpike uh, to London, which is now the Trafalgar Way, but it was the old turnpike, and got there well before the post captain uh, berthed at London docks. So the Admiralty did get the news from the person that were charged to uh, take it to him and not from some uh, uh, upstart post captain seeking fame and glory. Don't know whether it did lap at the air any good, I don't know whether it got promoted or anything, but uh, it discharged his duties, they say. Beware of the bull. Nah. You don't seem to be aware of him. He's a softy. Right. Hello, Fluff. I'm back. Hello. Did you miss me? Hey. Did you miss me? I bet you did, didn't you? Eh? Hey?